when trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! The best commercials <laughs> and pop fluff in between. Yes! Lips 106. Hey folks, it's Andy, riding on the Lips 106 airwaves. Today, I'm going to play you some sassy ladies from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Here's a taste for you. about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox, but your food is not there. Equinox. Soft.
and flamethrowers and let them hunt each other. To be truly strong, it is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. What's on your mind? Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and... I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same, you giant. Oh, I'm tall. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had it with people whining about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home, a car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. Y you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shooting. I can't pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? First time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Lando. Yes, yes, I, I do like it. There's one thing, though, that's just very different and rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. I don't know. Well, well, I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, lads, though, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well... There's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand the little brat. But Freddy needs a nanny. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. His views were a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just want to build a beef ride! ...and not. Oh, wonder brass ones on. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technology. Here's the 
internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head 3D virtual reality poker literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance. For my people, marriage is, how'd you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother it is made in heaven and in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable, like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts, be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies, and she must also be a whore, a vixen in the bedroom, imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? Excitement? No matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe it's possible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Mm-hmm.